Alright, we are live. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to RPL round 5 in Azerbaijan. We have currently Q1, 15 drivers. Uh, so that means everyone, if they set a lap, should be, uh, be sent to the next session. And I currently don't have the standings up right now. I believe Arrow, my friend today in the commentary booth, should be able to tell you. Same. I'll see if mine can get up as well. But right now, I think oh, we have Maiden off. Uh, out the left of the actually last corner. That is very odd to see. And he hasn't set a lap either. Goodness. Oh, that is really upsetting. Yeah, he can't set anything else. So he's starting 15th unless anyone... Uh, gets a 5 grid place penalty and division with a first lap of 140.696 uh, and S Savage Hammy odd to see in the mediums in Q1 uh, setting a lap 1.3 seconds slower and then we have quite a slow influx of times I think the McLaren should be the best uh, the best car on a straight line in this because they are actually the quickest car in a straight line and this game stops so and we have realistic performance for each car so as it's the realistic performance league every car is performing to its realistic standard so we should see quite a different sort of driving styles from different drivers of course in different cars as well On board with Formula Maxime, sorry about the cameras, to set a lap. It is three, almost four tenths slower than Division's lap time, which isn't too bad. I believe it's in the one, low 141s. And Zampa next goes fastest on a 140.397 as Division comes in, pits and retires for the session. Crazy on the Inters, obviously, setting his lap. Yeah, we don't need to worry about people on the Inter's tyre right now because, as I said earlier, it is only 15 drivers, so if everyone can set a lap and everyone is advancing to the next session, and as it has been shown, there is a few people who haven't, well, I say few, one person who hasn't been able to set a lap yet. We do a three cars. Yeah, go on. We do have another car off. That's, yeah, I said that's so crazy. God. I wonder if we might have misjudged the corner. Seem to get the standings up on my lap. This is good. Alright, we are following Dubsy for his first and hopefully only lapping Q1. 
in the Red Bull, so he should be, a, I believe, the second best performing car on the grid. But I'm not sure how that will hang up with Alfa Romeo and McLaren's high end top speed. Those two cars have been pretty strong in top speed. However, this all may be just destroyed of the advantages with the setups that some of these drivers may be using. But you should see some of the McLarens being a, making a lot of overtakes in Sector 3 unless they have lost the advantage with their setup. Yes. I will have to agree with you on that because as a Mercedes would most likely be the fastest car on the grid for today as an overall but yeah, it's hard to see Budweiser and Halo still in the pits when they only need to just go out and set one lap even if it's a like, five minute lap it should all just be that and I should be fine enough for them to get through We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, that should be in. But yeah, they, even if they don't set a lap, they will actually not go through from it. I have tested it. <laughs> ah. Okay, apparently they cannot hear you. Yeah, I'll be there. I'll. I've uh, unchecked and rechecked the box to see if that fixed anything. Um, let me know if he's can hear. It's working. Um, is it working? Yeah. Because there's like nothing in on my laptop reloading. All right. Hopefully, these should be the only two laps by Budweiser and Halo. What does he JG leaving the pit? Interesting, but we'll stay on board with Budweiser for his lap. Should be the grid for his car's performance. But it is quite odd to see the different uh, top speeds of each car. Yeah, I'm not sure, Casa, why, why it's a bit difficult. Probably there's something going on. Maybe some people haven't had enough practice. But that's the whole reason the timer is there, so people can use that time. But yeah, well. we should be done by now. I think JG is played for more practice, and I think uh, Button Hill probably joined to make sure their car was in, and then they were doing something else. It's like from Budweiser, oh, you just had a really sharp turn. Going through the castle section, slight correction, taking a good line through there, using a lot of curb, very close to the wall. Seems pretty good in the straight line. Yeah. 
best thing you can make sacrifices with this new performance patch that came out last week, Monday, I believe, but which supports the traction so much more. You can have such less error than expected. From beforehand. Okay, we can have a comparison of the top speeds of the two cars. The we can probably see the McLaren and the Haas. So the Alpha Tari is currently at 330, going to be at 330, almost 333 across the line. McLaren should be around the same, a little bit higher, actually a little bit lower, 329. That kind of tells you how, what setup JG has. Now with the Haas, with the Halo driver, much lower, 322. That really shows you the difference between the pace of some of the high-end cars and some of the low-end cars. Well, I'm lucky for Harrow, <laughs> no, Arrow, Halo, for being in the slowest car, but that is it. Everyone on track has set a time. We're just waiting for them to get back to the pits now, and hopefully they should retire, and we should be through to you too. Yeah, I think JG's is going for another pack as well, and he was uh, purple first sector, so, uh... Yes. Maybe he's, uh, trying to make sure he's flavor in the rally. For Q2 and Q3, to put it on pole, potentially. Yeah, I believe he is using his same set of tyres that he set to pass this lap. No, he is not. He's using a different set of tires. Oh, it, it would be smart to save them for uh, later on, but yeah, he is on based off of his Delta from Sector Two's fastest. He should be going to be two, but that wouldn't really be important if he's already made it through to the next session. Yeah, it doesn't really have much of standing an impact. There you go, only one tenth away from Zampa, but yeah, not really important other than his personal practice, so we'll just hope he's mm -hmm. comfortable now. I'm unsure when the RPL standings will be up, but they should be at the right of the screen if we didn't have an out. Laughs after the tears. Um... Well, as you can see there, if you're looking at that, the tier one, you can see that Haters was leading by a point over Payox. So, Payox is up there with the best. Uh, the tier one, as well as leading the RPL Championship. Yes, I was just going to mention JG retired on track. I don't know if that was just a. if that would be a pity one from the Stuarts because, uh, well, Q1's already done and it's not going to impede anyone. Oh, if that may be. Yeah. I don't know yet. Him and Brazy both did that, but it, I don't think it matters too much. Yeah. Okay. Then is no one to be eliminated in Q1. Yeah. JG, the only driver to use two sets of tyres. Let's look at some of the incidents. Only five invalidations. A couple of people crossing the pit lane in line on the exit and entry. Most on the exit, though. Not as many invalidations as I expected. But this is a difficult track to invalidate on for most, if not all, corners. Right, Q2, already 15, about 15 seconds gone. I shall get the graphics up for tyre and everyone's fastest lap. And uh, you can see on the left as everyone is putting their tyre to go for it, you can see Brazy and Act have gone on to the mediums. Yeah, it's Perex Kings first out of the pit on in the Alpine on the soft. We have three drivers on the mediums, Brazy, X and Halo S I believe Arrow said. So it should be a slight range of strategies, but 
my suggested one is there's you can do a medium soft, but it's like Canada, you take the tires too long, you will start to see a significant drop off in pace. Or if you do a two stop, you can be aggressive the whole time, but you have to make that crucial extra stop. So we might see some medium hards, soft hard, hard softs even if anyone's outside the top or anyone outside the top ten. But we might see some people taking the risk of doing either a two stop or a medium soft. I think uh, Maiden's left the session, so trying to get him back in. Yeah. So I believe it is a sub discount month, by the way, for September, which is subscribers or subscriptions to any channel is 20% off of its original pricing, so get on there if you want to. Going on, you can see Paox King set up or type depending on his top speed. Yeah, a little bit lower than everyone else, so he's probably running a more downforce. You can see JG around the same, a little bit lower. Dylan sadly on a validated lap. I hope it's not for this and next. It is not. And you see the horse has about 10 kilometers per hour lower than <laughs> than the than the Alpine and the, and the McLaren. So that's a big drop when o when you put it over a lap, so his average could probably be about 20 lower then. Ferrari of division is little, only a little bit quicker than the heart, so it could indicate that the Ferrari engine isn't that particularly good, or those two drivers have a high downforce setup on. Well, I think I've sent made an invite, so made let me know if we've got that invite, so you can... Uh... Formula Maxine. Yeah. Taking a very direct line to turn one. See, will he take all the outside guard? No, he does only just use the tire on it. You really want to use all, go over all of the uh, entry and exit curve of turn one, not touch for turn two. Obviously, get as close as you can to the wall from the exit. And you get this long straight. It's really nice. I always miss a breaking point here, but he seems to have not. Hayox came for the first lap time of 39.848, which is, I believe, a couple of tenths, half a second quicker than Zamp's first lap in Q1. JG yeah. next with a 140.692. Off of Hayox King, so I didn't get the driver's yeah. difference there. Impressively, you have second up from uh, drivers in Q1. Yeah. Ego Division with its high downforce. E2. About four almost four almost exactly four tenths quicker than JG. But not close enough to get to get a good advantage on. But don't forget this is Q2, so some people may just want to do a quick lap and get them into Q3 and then preserve the tire. that when you run a medium you have to risk using another set of tire which in both instances for whichever way you go is going to be uh, there goes Maxim for his first lap in Q2 uh, P4 141.124 I wouldn't say the best lap but we'll see how it we'll see how it compares to everyone else as we progress through this session Uh, I've been on board with Bradley as he's coming around at the corner to take his first lap on the mediums and we'll see what he can do in that Red Bull which in real life could have pace around Baku but we'll see in the game does it translate I 
that's a 42 sex so I think he's gonna have to do a soft run. Nice. Unless that was uh, a one flat, which is something to do. Yeah. Oh, and Monkey on his lap running medium, this was getting touchy with the wall. Yeah. It's difficult to avoid hitting the walls when you're trying to go as fast as you can, especially at some of the corners in the end of Sector 2. They are really difficult, especially with it's around there. Stay on now. So, uh, I think it's Budweiser. No, who's at a lap? <laughs> well, Monkey goes P2 with the McLaren, who should, which should be up there with a 140.7. Uh, 274. A little bit quicker than the division. So. Yeah, that, a tenth quicker than Zampa in Q1, and it's on the mediums as well, so. I think that should come from keep Monkey into uh, Q3, and he'll have the advantage of starting the mediums. Yes, yeah, as, as I just saw Brazy losing traction after turn 2 and hitting the wall, he has not much front wing. Yeah, lost his left side end plate. So, I think this will just be a bust run for him. Oh, Bradley trying not to hit the wall on his in lap. I wonder if he's lost the front wing. I don't believe he has lost it. And, heavy lip breaking into the pits. Take a shot. Probably done. There we go, SLR Dylan using a lot of the curb on his lap, needing to get as much performance as he can out of the slowest car, I believe. Unless they have changed it. unless they have chosen it to be the Williams in this game. I think definitely after the performance patch, it's the most out the house. I think they were relatively even beforehand, but now it's that the house is the worst performance. As it should be, Max setting his lap on the mediums, just about a tenth and a bit slower than Budweiser, who set his lap on the softs. So, what a range, a large range of skill. And uh, we'll, we'll see what Halo can do on the mediums. I think this might be just a practice lap because, yeah, to get into Q2 in the halves on the mediums, that'd be a feat. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if anyone on the road to do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I doubt it. But we're going to stay on board with Zampa for his lap. Sloppy second corner with the lock up. But we'll just see how he can progress through his lap. He's still got a lot of track there. Breaking at the right point. Just using the curve, you don't really want to do that. Not using all of the exit get little loose has to make a correction. Still locking up the front right or the front inside tire. I wonder if it's got something. Setup does it again. That might be a decent for me. But he's hitting the right curves, using the right entry points. There's a castle section which crucial to gain or lose time or gain no time at all. And uh Sessler Dillon said that the fifth half is lap with 45 or 40, like five uh, in the house, which is impressive time. Very impressive. Uh, both acts getting up to four to the upper tarry on the medias. Unless Zampa has a really odd setup where his inside tyre will always lock up, uh, there is a desync and he actually is not locking up as much as he is. So, should we find me that Mercedes I power? I could definitely say that, that uh, lock up in a turn, but I haven't been on board with him in the lap, so I'm not sure if there is desync or not. Should go, only go P7 or 140 point, almost 140.9, but just shy of. Actually, a little bit slower than uh, uh, SLR Dylan. I thought it would be a quicker lap, but. Oh, well. 
I've been feeling like it was a decent movie, he was locking up on the meters. Example of the wall. He stopped the track and there's a yellow back for him, but I don't think that made damage. Neither either Monkey or JG just set a lap. Here it was JG. Oh, and the vision. JG just set a lap almost at a 140, almost dead, going to P at ah, the time P2, but then the vision comes across the line. The 139 600, two and a half tenths quicker than the next fastest pair of things. That's a really good lap. Yeah, oh, really. I'm starting to now think what is it last time I I thought whenever you want to see that a 140.3, I thought maybe the 39 to be uh, a Q3 lap time, but now we've already seen a 139.6. We can start to see a, a very low 39 to get the full lap time. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't locked on time trial to see what sort of lap times people are capable of after the update. Going back through. Yeah, it should be about a second slower than pre patch. Ooh. Yeah, it should be about a second slower for most, if not all, tracks for pre patch time compared to. on board with Formula Maxim on the fresh, yeah, fresh shot. Let's see how he does for his Delta, if you see at the top right, it should so, and he, oh, he's about three seconds down, so it's probably just a, another, in, another outlap, or, uh, another outlap, or another. Well, um, uh, Bradley behind us, trying to use him as a tow. Zampa really comfortable with his mediums time. MP7, tiring into the pit. Yep. Yeah, Which, uh. That's improved I wouldn't though. Sure that's I wouldn't improved. be too sure on that. Maybe he's committed to the main strategy regardless of what his lap time is. Yeah. So I still think there is people that could be, for example, his time. Yeah. Yeah, that's And it'll be interesting to see uh, what grab they can do after you get the massive tow from Maxim in the straight. And now that he's on the sauce. Yeah, a couple of people setting lap times, I believe it was, uh, Budweiser and Brazy, uh, both going up to that's, P5 and 6. Uh, that's already it? pushed Zamba down to 9. Yeah, Zamba might have made one call it, but he has got... Yeah, well, if he's hoping for P11, which should be the optimal place to start on the hards and then go to the softs, then he's got it on the money. Only time was Although, uh, there is only... 20 seconds left in the session, so if we can see out the track now, there'll be the only people left to uh, set a time. So I don't think Dub is going to get a time because I think he's on a lap. And we'll see what Bradley can do as he comes across the line. Oh, when he gets into the top 10, just about. Yeah, just. And that sh will be everyone. Uh, everyone will be on their last lap. Formula Maxim already done. We do have a retirement and we'll see you all on board for Ups. Uh, just too late. I think that's for Rizzo. Yeah, see. Otherwise, on a slow in lap, I presume. We should be see, seeing Brazy on the left. Actually, no, we shouldn't. Yeah. We should be on the other side of the track. The uh, ones to watch out for will be uh, Yellow and Pine, and uh, he'll come around the last corner. And we'll see if he can get into the top 10.
How far is it going to improve? Actually, it improved quite well. A 141 yeah. 452, but nothing to gain a position in the end. He did improve substantially, but it wasn't enough to get into the top 10. But I think Hami, if he improves at all, should make it in the top 10. But as it's just right now, Zampa is safe from the mediums. Does go P9, Ooh. that gives Bradley the chance, he will not. Zamba is going into Q3 on the mediums, so that is it for Q2. Yep. We have the drivers so, uh, knocked out Bradley Johnson, Formula Maxime, Dupsy, and Halo. And uh, Zamba will be the, the, the only people, or the, the only driver in, uh, in Q3 that will just start on the mediums. We do have but, uh, three of them. Axe and Monkey. Uh, well, on my screen it says they're on the stars, so... If he selects best on the detail on the right, I would show their best time this lap. So there you oh. go, you can see it there. Monkey, <laughs> Axe and Zambos going into the top 10 on mediums. Vision fastest in the Ferrari. We'll see what everyone does in Q3, which is when everyone's going flat out 100%. Don't really want to go 100% in all the other sessions unless the grid is very close. And there we go, a couple of people using two different sets of tyres. Quite a lot of people actually. Well, that will be very interesting to see. Now that I see that there's more than one <laughs> driver on the mediums, uh, how the alternate strategy will work in the race. Yeah. I'm unsure if there's been a uh, ability to do a completely different strategy with the um, what is it, with the new performance change. So I'm unsure, but we'll see. Why are more people already going out? Yeah. Since they're not wasting any time, trying to just get their, uh... ...lops in and... ...a lot of traffic. Very slow yeah. here. We've only three staying in the pits, which is... ...yes, three indeed. Budweiser... ...Crazy and JG. JG is on the mediums in Q3. This is really odd. Yeah. And he is actually leaving the pits on the mediums. So. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't know that's the Q2 room. Yeah, or he just maybe. hasn't got any new Q, uh, not Q, uh, soft tires. I think you'd still rather go on more soft than mediums in Q3 anyway. Yeah. And, uh, what? when you're uh, restricted to a certain amount of tires before Q3, and then uh, in Q3 you get an extra set of sauce once you make it. So, maybe he's just doing a practice lap like we did in there in Q1, and then he's going to go for a proper lap on this new uh, fresh sauce. Uh, so far, Brazy is the only one staying in the pits. Yeah, probably waiting to wait until the track grips up a bit more, but that should be the first to set a lap, well, he's the first across the line in Q3. Very aggressive, Axis 8, quick driver, hence of his uh, Tier 1 Championship last season, in last game there as well. Dominating. Be quick and loud. And, uh, to the wall. You, you can hear that 
left front going in. Going into the corners. They learn that in some pass, probably in validation. Time to go. Oh, pardon me. I'm firm and didn't validate. Oh, I can see the wall. Oh, oh. that castle, right side. That, yeah. Oh, awesome. massive that. Yeah, he's gone wide. There's some right side damage. I wonder if he has any bodywork damage that isn't repairable. Just switched the axe and then heard the, the crunch against the wall. I think we have to watch out for Monkey because he's relatively uh, close behind the, the house of Dylan, and Dylan will give him a, a lovely toe to complete his lap. Yeah. And the toe with the McLaren, which is actually the fastest part in a straight line in this game, will be very, very strong. We can compare the top speeds of the Mercedes alone with the McLaren with slipstream. And, uh, Three to yeah, six. Yeah, Dylan's gonna. Oh, oh. that's three. Yeah, but. Oh, monkey it's doesn't go. It has quit. I thought that. I thought that that's probably the gap from the half that was uh, on the lap would have uh, definitely given monkey pole. I thought that would be the pole lap we were receiving, but. You'll have another go, I'm guessing. Yeah. But. A 39.3 very quick lap. Yeah, 39.3 is a very quick lap from Zamba. All the times coming in, uh, not only the big gap is second to third with Budweiser now setting up a mid 140. Pretty good lap, especially on the uh, Tari, which will put him in the middle of the grid right now with Dylan setting his lap in the Haas in Q3. Dylan was able to make it in Q3. Yeah. And, uh, why do we mention Zampa? He's currently in the fifth uh, in the championship with 141 points. And then behind him by a point is Stenner and Prisma. And then above him is Craig in fourth, Dully in third, and Budweiser in second. And then, obviously, Chaos, who won last week, is leading the championship. By uh, 39 points, I believe. Yeah. Dylan, for me, so, just at the purple sector 2, it did look like a really good sector 2. 115, well, probably sector 1 and 2, but should be a really good lap for the hard states. And obviously, he'll lose a lot of time on the straights being slower on the straights just due to the horse's drag. So, he did a good job there to get P6 momentarily. Uh, well, for the time being, that is. In Kings and Division in the, the three nines in Q2, so we should definitely see them both make it there as well for Q3. So yeah. there'll be more drivers that uh, will be able to get up there. And Bloodwise was doing a stack and punch lap. He was about the fourth. Yeah, he got five to be four. Pretty good lap to be able to keep him up there. And he's still got about five minutes left, so he should have by the time he pits about. Just shy of four minutes. Oh, Brizzy's in the middle. Brizzy's lost the front line completely. Oof. He hit both walls. <laughs> oh, no. that, car is still in, that car is still intact somehow. Ooh, he's oh, he's just we barely making wall. it in the pits. Yeah. He hit the wall on entering the pits. <laughs> Love that shot there. See if we get a game for payouts. Obviously, every driver should be on their in lap to be able to go on the next set of softs. Let's see if we get the camera view again. Yeah, look at that. Oh, actually, no. Oh, G team. <laughs> you cut the corner. Nah, it's. Also, camera's a bit poor. Oh, well. I think Axe must be the only one on it. 
fighting that. Indeed he is. Oh, that camera shot was good. And he does set he does set a purple sector two. That is a purple sector two. How far up is he going to get on the grid though? Is he going to get Steel Zamba's momentary P1 original goal? Or is he going to just miss it out? Oof, almost Ooh. gets him about a half a tenth. Oof. What a lap time in the Alpha Tower. Yeah, what a lap. That is a Gasly drive if I've ever seen one. Yeah. That's definitely inspired by the Frenchman. <laughs> JG out on softs this time, so he should be able to catch close to Monkey. Which is because he's currently the slow on the slowest lap time, but he should be able to improve quite a bit to closer to where Monkey is a P3 and a 139.5, JG on a 149.5, so about a second and four tenths between the two. I'm going to switch to this still to have to show the time differences between pole and Drivers fast as that time. Oh, that stabs the wall and cut the wall. I wonder if he's racing back to the bits to try and send the lap. He won't be able to. Yeah, he's really cutting the course to get there. Whether this is allowed or not. Trying to push as fast as he can to either set another lap, which I don't think he will with the fuel load. Yeah, he's going into the pit. He's going to have to have a lot of luck for the crew to get him in the pit, which you know they can order along for an hour before they figure out to put you in the pit stop. So, yeah, no, he is retiring into the pits, which is you will not get enough time to cut a lap. JG will be the first to eventually cross the line and set a lap for us. I think the division might actually be. Yes, the division is 6.04 takes up by set 2. Oh, yep. line. And he, he did a 39.6 in Q2, so he could be up there again. Yeah. Let's see what he gets. 39. Five. That's improved from his QG time. He did improve. Going to try and keep on board with everyone's lap as they come in. JG will be the, as I said earlier, first from now on to cross the line and set a lap if you can set it. Pushing the limits, just swirling out of the corner, really tight. And picks it as it shortens. Largely, how much is going to use the curb? None at all. Just misses the wall. That is how you want to take it. Very, very good lines here. Not using too much yeah, curb. Very smooth. Did you really see that? That's picked up. Ah, uh, I said he could have got on pole if he didn't screw up last corner. Unlucky. Here we go, J G. Already reached 200 miles an hour, almost 205. Goes seventh on a 140.252. P7, unless he can do another lap, which I wonder if he's pushing for one, that will be his fastest time. Crazy. And then. Yeah, and P7 is. Uh, only lap then. JG does retire on track in Q3. That will likely be a penalty in this situation. Not Q1 with Q3, and he does retire on track. Uh, Crazy goes 9th on a 140.313. Oh, sorry, no, 8th on a 140.313. Zampa re increases the fastest time of 139.168. Uh, Monkey goes 3,000 of a second. 
behind him. But yet we have the vision on his way, not going to set up past his back. Dylan next. Oh! Spins out after the finish line and crashes the vision out. Oh, I you, 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 you missed what happened there. With the vision and. Uh, what was it? Divisions. Division slowed up to the little hang and Dylan had to swerve to avoid him and then completely lost the back end and yeah. uh, tapped the back of the Chaos King sets this line, he will not get pulled a tenth and a half off. I'm actually going to check something right now. Also, Hammy crashed out on track. I need to check, did Dylan just set the exact same lap time? No, he did not. He did miss out on the last, on his last lap. That will be qualifying for us. Zampa on pole with a 139, 168. Monkey behind him in the McLaren. Three hundredths of a second behind him. Ajax Kings on a tenth and a half behind him in P3. And then we have Axe, Division, Budweiser. All those. Well, it's gone now. Well, all those six within a second of pole. So shows how far, far apart the field will spread with the last times. But there we go, there we go, the top 10. JG next uh, in the McLaren with them, Brazy. Dylan surprisingly up high with the slow Haas. And Savage Hammy in the Alpine, slowest for Q3. Well, it was a pretty dramatic end uh, yeah. when I went on board with uh, Dylan because I thought Dylan's getting a, a beautiful toe from Division and then Division slowed up right before the line and then Dylan had to snap uh, his steering wheel to try and avoid the incident and then created a massive crash. Yeah, I wonder if that will create any controversy between the two. Any time will tell. There we go. Should be on the grid now. I think all of our information will pop up on the formation lap. But uh, I believe it's Axe, Monkey, and Zampa that will be started on the mediums. Um, I believe a one stop is doable here. It's oh, definitely possible. Yeah. Just I was going to say don't, don't, say don't quote me on that because I'm not <laughs> best with strategies. But, but uh, Zampa, Sorry. Zampa and Monkey both uh, P1 and P2 on the mediums. Yeah, and then Axe on the row behind them with Payox between the three on soft. But yeah, the medium soft it is possible, but is I'm just not sure it's as quick as the other stra other possible strategies. If we see anyone do softs to hards or hards to soft, then I think that will be the most optimal strategy um, if they can play it out well. And there you go, there is the ready up counter, so we should have the graphics up in about half a minute. There we go. Ooh, the drives on the grid. There you go. One stop. I do not believe there is a medium hard. I wouldn't trust that. Should see the stop that it just showed. There we go. We will have the tyres up. Every no one on hards. Everyone on softs or mediums. I believe about half is on mediums. Half is on softs. Interesting. And Charles and Charles said the hardest to out here in front of uses them. Fair enough. I'm guessing hard is not the way to go. Yeah, I guess so. But we will see throughout this race who will use them with people or with everyone just just choose not. But 
there, there is a couple of tracks on this game that I do actually like the hards, like Portamat, I think it's good for the hards. Yeah. From what I've experienced. Definitely. But uh, all people who missed it in Q3, only one of them is on the sauce, and that's the maiden at the back. Yeah. Although, I don't think he joined back, so I think he's AI. I think uh, in the RPL chat he is. The... Oh, and there's a house around of Dylan. Yep, Dylan spun. I don't really get how you spin in the form formation lab, it's not really something that's happened before. <laughs> yeah. I'm not inviting it. Odd. There you go, Zamba leading major lap. Close to the grid now. So we should see them start to pile up on the grid very, very soon. Would you like to do the honors um, of doing the main commentating for the start, Arrow? Oh, I was going to say you could do it and then I would keep an eye <laughs> on the back of the field, but if you, if you want enough. me to do it, then I can. No, that's right. We can do that. Oh, and JG and Hammond was still in contact, because we've been both disqualified. Naughty, naughty. Not something you want to do is on the formation lap. I mean, it's not too bad as they are quite, quite close to the grid. So, I think the only thing each one of them may look forward to is probably a penalty, depending on what happens. There we go. As Maiden's is he's uh, way behind everyone. Yeah, Maiden's AI just coming into the grid slot, so we should see from everyone. Not the greatest camera. There's a better camera. Five lights. And it's away we go for the RPL round five. Osh. Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Zamba gets a really, really good start. It's a very wide spread of the field. Lots of people going too wide, not anyone going far. And one of the Alphas had a crazy. mega start in the house. Oof, wow. Already up to P6 in the house with those soft knees, but yeah. three runners on the mediums ahead. He's right ahead of him. Axe pushes division wide. Dylan. Gains his advantage, side by side with Axe into turn 4. He does get around him. Dylan already up to P4 or P8 every. That is incredible. The front two or the front three already turning away a bit from the battling. Everyone pretty cleanly through. It's odd to see the Red Bulls far back, but yeah. You're already seeing it back. Uh, between third and fourth. Oh, and Pale Skins loses it and he has spun! Chasing him down the. Guys, I'm not I'm sure if it was an unsafe rejoin or not, but. Oh, that is really unlucky. He's down to P14 now instead of P2 from four. And Zampa already has a second gap for Monkey. And also that means Dylan is up to third in the half. What, what a mega start. Up six positions on lap one. That is incredible. But now he has actual company on the mediums. Yeah. And the, uh, the only three that made it through to Q3 on the mediums are now in the top three. Yeah. Bradley's already in the pits. Yeah, he's one damage. Yeah, going on from the mediums to the mediums, I believe. Yeah, I wonder if the Delta is a bit off. Should see the next lap. Yeah, my telemetry is on the bit. Should be sorted out for the next lap once they start crossing the line. Very, very close. I think, yeah, very, very close. A lot 
from third all the way back to tenth, I'd say, and then it kind of splits off slowly. So very, very close gap. Even one mistake, can, as you can see from Pale Queens, can lose you a hell of a lot of positions. I, I couldn't tell if it was a mistake or contact, but oh, when JD could have moved on on Bod and Bod's AI, I don't know why that is. Uh, see if we can invite him back. If he has disconnected, or if he's just resetting his wheel. Oh, oh. Just... I think he meant to reset the wheel or whatever. Because as he rejoined, almost like on the board of the wall. Maxim and Bud's not going to follow. That might be three wide. Oh, please don't. Oh, and Dylan's going on. Three I wide. think the vision's going on Dylan. Oh, Brazy gets a little bit of fun from Becca Maxim. Maxim. Maxing really close to Budweiser with DRS as well. Mediums oh. are soft, so a little bit of a squeeze, but it's just a bump and pass from yep. there. They both left the space. Very oh. fair racing. Crazy bad. Does eventually make the move. This is the closest gap we have. And now it has invited Dubsy and Halo to join them as well. Oh, and Halo Kings, don't bring me back there. I believe Sakshami made a no, he, he made a pit stop. Hard to do it this time. Oh, Brazy gets a little loose again. Is he got one rear, rear one angle for his rear wing? <laughs> He's really close to top seat. He was pushing through the castle section. Alex King's trying to look on the inside of Dubsy, but does not make the move. I think he will in the last corner here. That's he just does it. Dubsy gives the room. Alex King slots just behind him. Now here we could see Brazy storm ahead of uh, yeah, we would like to see Brazy storm ahead of Budweiser, DRS and Budweiser's red light is flash. Monkey does at the fast lap, which has now put him in the three tenths within Zamba. We're all going to decide we to watch and we'll watch these two. They are really, really close now. Breezy does get past Budweiser into turn one. Monkey just whizzing by oh. Zampa. I'm seeing the move of Chaos. I think Chaos. Oof. Oh! Thank Chaos. Uh, it's dedicated to the one. Very very I've got the mode. I've got a bit of pacing, because on my screen does beat at the wall, and I was like, that guess was beating. No. Yeah. It seemed like a normal thing to play everything on glitch in this game. I mean, everyone can get away with it now. This is expected of the game, which is a shame, but anyway. I think it looks like it's a bit of understeer, not visual damage, but it looks like it. Ooh. And they're falling very closely through the castle section. Oof. Don't see right up behind the other one. And Perox has lost some time with Don't see. I wonder if his mistake in turn one caused some damage. I wouldn't have any reason to not leave so. Right now we're going to look at the top. Zampa should be catching. But Muggy's too far back to make a move. I think Division might make a decision on whether he wants to make a move or just get really, really close for the next turn. He does just get really, really close. I think we might see a move between Maxine and Crazy. Maxine does get his nose ahead and does get ahead for turn one. And we do see Budweiser pitting. No moves there other than. Maxim on Brazy and Budweiser pitting and losing. Just, oh, I just seen a bit of contact. No, it was a. Oh, Axe. I think Axe hit the wall. 
or just scrapes it. What do you have a four second gap between Zampa and Axe, the front two are tailing away, and even not just the front two, third and fourth have about a four second gap, two fifth, and then fifth and sixth have about a four second gap, to seventh. Grizzly burst the wall, right up on his back, and these two are bottom very close. We're going to keep an eye on those two, if any other gap ahead of them drops closer, then we will keep an eye on them. Oof. the Maxims. Mm. Struggling on the medium, but it just looks like Brains is struggling with the setup because it's back end keeps kicking out. Oh, and it's it again! Oof. I think Crazy might have a lot of rear tire wear because if you have the front wing higher than the rear wing in this game, it seems like it does just make your car really unpredictable. Yes, it can help in the corners, but it just makes it as a really unpredictable machine with tire wear, heat, everything else above. It's not open the rear wing, crazy. Yes, the option is getting out of the Softs. Not the expected time to pit, but it is a time nonetheless. Maybe there's a, a pit stop strategy in the cars. Yeah. Taking mediums, mediums, or uh, mediums, so. And dubbies. Oh! Oh! He's just getting his nose in there. Maxim slotting in behind. Yeah. No, hunt. You might know. Dubsy had a run on, uh, on Maxim there, and then as Maxim went to cover off the inside, that's the place where Dubsy is going to. Dubsy had a switch to the outside. It was very close to contact. But they didn't make it anything like Very nice racing so far at Azerbaijan, the circuit where in most of my league races has always had a safety car and even some have three safety cars. Let's not try and jinx anything. I'll make it more interesting. Did I just hear someone hit the wall? Was that a halo? Tapping the wall? Well, I think I've seen Axe tap the wall as well. Yeah, but I wouldn't hear it while I'm on Max. And uh I know in, in time trial around Baku there is a a line you take where you hit the wall. But I, I don't think it'd be that back in the race. Yeah, not at all. I think the closest guy we have is Halo to Maxine. Yes indeed it is. I'm sure we'll see Halo make a move to the masses. I will not demonstrate a division pitch from the softs. I believe he's going to, yes, he's going to the mediums. Halo really close to Formula Maxi. Not trying to make a move yet. He does have DRS for the next corner though. That pass is going to be really difficult to make in the major losing. And by the way, both horses making a lot of addition. Yeah. Seven and five for each. Dubsy up eight, by the way. Oof. I was commenting about them, odd seeing them so far back at the beginning of the race, 15, well, 14th and 13th to each, but now they're fifth and 13th. It's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's a shame we can't see Bradley up there as well because he might have had a pace with that to help the Red Bull if he didn't uh, yeah. run in that instant on lap one that forced him into the pits. Yeah. And we have a closer gap of Crazy and JG. I don't think we're going to see any moves at that point though. So, right now, just to update you on the driving order right now. We oh, have... Never mind. He's coming to the castle side and that front wing is gone. Oh no. Yeah. It was down at least an M paid off and you can see he's having the really oh. slow through this section. It is the whole front wing gone. Oh, it well, is the whole front wing. The standings uh, have been updated very recently then, I guess. Oh, Dylan pitting from the soft. If he is going to the medium, we will have every car on track with mediums, old or new, or old and new. He is indeed. We have 
every driver on track, on the mediums. No one on softs, no one on hards, everyone. But also the top six have not pitted yet. Dylan coming out to eat and just behind Budweiser, I think he might get to go best from it. Oh, sorry to interrupt, but did Division and Halo really close, so exciting to turn for me. One getting ahead of each other, Division as he has a line should get ahead, yes he does get ahead for turn four. And now back to Dylan and Budweiser, both very close. I see a lot of red lights flashing overall throughout this, so race I even know you really want to preserve oh. your hero. What's happening? Dylan almost went to the back of blood. <sighs> He's had a back out of that. He's lost a lot of time. A lot of time. By a couple tenths. Goodness, yeah, you really want to preserve your ERS. It's like a, like Brazil or Canada. A tracks where you will make, where you will likely be making a move after or on a straight. You just want to save the energy as much as you can for them. Because if you can save it while everyone else is depleting it, then you will ease after a few laps. Music application and Max and the straight and just finished their last corner. Division will have DRS on Max. Don't know if he's going to be able to make a move as he is 7 tenths back. Yeah, he's not no, he's too much time. He's not. Perhaps Kings makes a move on Bradley Johnson just before. Uh, quite a few. Just a few corners before the last. And also, Gracie has pitted for hards from his front wing damage, so he should be going to the end of the race. And oh, we have two moves going on. Division is going on Formula Mac team into turn three. Yeah, he's just going to get ahead. And Bradley Johnson goes back past Perhaps Kings on the start finish straight. Perhaps Kings has just been trapped down. The grid order or the order, but he will have DRS back on Bradley Johnson now. He really wants yep. to make start making your moves here on track between two and three because you've got a long time for them to make a mistake and fall back, or for you to just make a mistake and still keep your position. It's so tight there for that time section between sector two and Oh, and on my screen the uh, abrasive wall is now sparking. Yeah, that was like that attack Q2 and Q3, I believe. On the inside? Uh, well, for me it's basically on the, the wall, the I am stupid wall. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't I see it there yet. We'll see when certainly crazy is past it. We don't have any gaps close enough to see a position. Position change. One more would be crazy, the purple. But there definitely was there earlier in qualifying. Yeah. Anyway, now everyone is quite fast, but apart there is no gap less than a second. I can update you on the standings now, hopefully, that anything can happen. Uh, well, not the grid, uh, not the standings for points, the current race standings. Monkey, two seconds ahead of Zampa. On both haven't pitted, uh, so first, like I said, first, two, fourth have not pitted. Division is fifth, hasn't pit has pitted. Maxim and Halo. So Monkey, Zampa, Max, and there's a position change as Hammy goes ahead of Halo <laughs> into turn three. Yeah. But anyway, uh, going off of that, we have Division and fifth chasing Dubsy on new mediums. By the way, Maxi gaining a lot of positions. Oh, Halo, Halo's got a very bad exit. I'm not ready to go to the Yeah. This tight side is going to put it at the castle. Oh wow. Yeah, Maxi up six positions. Well, actually, Dubsy up nine. Which is cold. Yeah, Maxi up six positions, then Savage Hammy. Up to Halo is going to be set I mean, he's really it. struggling. I wonder if he has some so close. Oh. I reckon Not Halo up. has some side some uh, side pod damage or some floor damage, but as that was happening, actually both pitted at the same time. 
much see what they changed for a while. Philo and JG are swiping at each other. Yeah, back Zampa and go to the medium, so they should be doing a two stop because you cannot do medium. Uh, dry compound if it is cool if the race is fully dry and not declared wet. So it does not mean if it's just a drop of rain or rain then you can do whatever you like for strategy. It's if the what race is declared wet. That's in the front line. So I think he'd been nursing that front line. Yeah. It noticed it was, uh, the earlier. Yeah, it did seem like he was uh, struggling and I thought it was because of the, the mediums he was already struggling. But... Must have been nursing the front wing damage through to his stop. There we go. So yeah, Savage Hammy, then Dylan, JG, and then Halo. Halo has dropped off quite a bit from either his hitting wall or core exit or both. Uh, yeah, moving on, we have Aox Kings. P11 has lost a lot of positions, I would say. He is down eight positions from his starting position. Uh, he's yeah. going to find it really difficult to gain that back up. And then we have Bradley Johnson in 12th. Formula Maxim in 13th. And as a yellow flag, it is Dubsy. He has retired from the session. Oh! He has hit oh, the wall. At that time. Oh, someone hit him, Halo! Yeah, well, so see, from there, he was still the perspective. Most likely just massively missed his breaking point. Actually, not a VSC or a safety car, just a yellow flag. Yeah, that, that'd be that yeah. safety car in real life. But he does leave the session. Understandably, he was up into P4. Oh, what did he spawn? Oh no! Oh no! I think he's hit the wall about three times now. That is really upsetting yeah. for him. I don't remember how many pit stop he's already done, but uh, I'm gonna find that now. He has, he has already done his second stop, about to do his third, I guess, because yeah. he has not got a front wing. Yeah. It's a lot of drama. Oh, it seems like a lot of clean racing with no drama. Looking at our closest gaps between J, G, and Dylan. Yes, it is. Eight tenths, almost nine, going through the castle section. It seems like oh, J, G just almost loses it, get, loses half a second from that mistake. Just didn't use the throttle correctly when hitting the inside curve. Didn't straighten the car right. That's yeah. Time from from the He was very close to the wall on the left there, but. Didn't make contact with it, so... Yeah, want to keep your front yeah. wing with this. Should still be able to catch down with the benefit of the uh, McLaren. And uh, that much take attention in the past. Let's see, a lot of drivers, not on much ERS level. So if you can start saving your ass and using the DRS to keep the pace up, then you will be doing great work. And uh, yellow's in, and I wonder if it's here from my damage, or... Yeah, he did have a front line. He's got his front line replaced. So, uh... The reason he was struggling is because he did have damage. He does go to soft, so he's going to likely pit again after this. It's not really not the idea. Well, the, the majority of people are doing uh, medium, medium soft, for example, and he's doing that, and then uh, he's going for a. Uh, uh, a medium sort of stuff. Yeah. But I had Monkey still has not pitted on the mediums. 
I mean, setting up so I reckon he is, if he keeps going on for another three laps, maybe he can take the softs to the end. I'm not sure um, if it's easier now. It's possible. Dylan's right up behind Harmack. He's gonna make a move. Fine. Right. Zambas is the fastest lap of the race at 1.3663. That is quite a lot faster than anyone else's. To be honest, I think the only one except for Monkey just on for two. Anyway, uh, Dylan, make a move on Hammy. I think Hammy uses that time to hit. Very good. When you take on the medium, is 9 laps. Or just about 10 when Monkey is taking it 13. Hopefully, doing much more. Yeah, it looks like Monkey's doing that at one step, whereas everyone else is going for two. Or, well, Hammy's done the hardest way to do that at one step. JG was also involved in the battle and Hammy and Dylan and must have been a mistake because he was a second down, but with that McLaren he just closes right back up again after he makes a mistake. Yeah. That straight line speed from McLaren is great. That's, I guess why they helped get, I guess why that may have helped them get their win in Monza last no not last week, a week before. And now we yeah. have Axe. Within half a second of the vision, Auto Maximum Bradley Johnson. Bradley Johnson is off. Ooh. Uh, left nice. end plate is gone. Yeah. Ooh. Very lucky. Act. No up the hand of vision. On the fragile medium. Yeah. I think what Act should do, he is on fragile medium, so either go for the move and create the gap where DRS is not available, or stay behind him and preserve the tyres. Oh, and the is tired. Oh, it's a safety car. Axe just gets ahead. Ooh. Dylan, but oh, no, not Dylan. Division using the perfect time to hit the soft. This is perfect for Monkey. This is absolutely perfect for Monkey. Let's see if we can have a look. There you go, Dylan. Budweiser, yeah, on the left, just seemed to be going to seem lost there last actual non-flat corner but with the safety car this is perfect for monkey absolutely perfect honestly he will lose his 18 second gap but he can go into softs maybe and go to the end of the race but he's, yeah, or if he, he doesn't and stretch them. he definitely should but and if he isn't good with pushing the softs the key for the softs to the end he will have a Horrible race from there on because you can't go on the medium to play it safe. It's already he started on them. Yep. And uh, this will be good for Halo who already has switched soft to maybe pick up some positions if other drivers are pitting. But we see a lot of drivers have switched onto the mediums. And they are going to end on that tire. Yeah, a lot of drivers doing it. And we must oh, see what, what Monkey does. Yeah, he is in. Good. Yeah, he's going on to softs. It just seems yeah. to be the only, only idea other than going on to the hard if you do not want to do in this situation. Might as well risk it. Oh, and, and Zampa's in as well. Zampa. As well as Axe. Axe. Oh, Axe. They pitted him. Oh, Axe rear end. Zampa going to the pits. Will he be able Hopefully to get a damage? Or if he doesn't? I don't think he had any damage, but. Hopefully he didn't have a damage for that. Yeah. Vision, is he going to get into the No, he isn't. He isn't. Ooh. He's going to get behind on medium, so the top three. Bradley Johnson gets a drive oh. through. No! Oh. That is still just happening when Harry thinks he's going to get a drive through. It's a horrible feeling. Because you can't. And also, we only have a short stint left. We only have a soft stint left, so. It's really difficult to be able to gain anything other than 
and uh, the field is very hard, so I think that will really benefit the top three on the start. Because it'll take them a while to catch up with the safety car, which should extend the laps the safety cars out. Yes, it definitely should. They'll be able to spend more time under the safety car, preserving their tyres, as they keep it cool at the same time, rather than thrashing them around. Oh, the version is tired! Was he retired? Was he done? That's he, that's he crashed the he's castle! Lost it. He's yeah. lost it out of the castle! He's completely lost it. He is, he is on the right, guys. I know you guys are listening to the stream. He's on the right. Stay to the left. He's he completely lost it. Oh, no. Oh, my This Lord. is horrible for the Dutch. <laughs> the Dutch brethren. He's found the brothers in first, but... Oh, that was heartbreaking. The crash was the car. Especially at this point. Oh. That means... I don't understand why. Because the, the car was in bits, so it seemed like he was pushing for, for that... To, for it to have that impact. I'll tell you who this uh, car has benefited the most, and that is Payox, who is somehow in sixth. I yeah. have no idea. He is How is he in sixth? A lot of positions back, so because of the safety car, he is going to be getting some good points. A lot of points now after having that spin in lap one or even or lap two. So, it should really help him in his title chances as he is. Yeah, However, he was in. Uh, he was in like 10th or 11th the whole race, and I was like, he's too far back to catch up with the pack. And then in the back of my head, I just thought maybe a safety car would help him. And the safety car's out, and I thought I would just have him catch up with the pack, but for some reason, he's in second. Didn't yeah. see how it happened. <laughs> Didn't see how he's made all these positions. He's just got to make sure he doesn't mess up the safety car restart now, which should be in a couple of laps. Great, uh, Bradley Johnson is pitting, by the way. I think from fresh shots. Yeah, he's just, he's just come out of the pit. I'm crazy. Oh well, he has that drive through, so he's probably trying to get rid of it, but yeah, doesn't I mean, allow you to. It probably, or he's just getting onto the new soft so that he can. Have, be on them off he serves it which is to be honest the best idea because as soon as you serve the drive through you're losing a lot of time so I mean it's not going to be any risk of doing it or afterwards and uh, I think the city will do another lap because the rest of the pack hasn't caught up yet I hope it does it should be doing that but, uh, We hadn't had any DNFs for a while about this, it really did seem like maybe we might survive without one, but I'm okay within a, within a couple laps there, after Bud went, yeah. or uh, after WZ went, and then yeah. Bud followed, and then... Just a chain reaction off that is... The way we have hey. Roots, what seems like a really strong fight between the top three for the first lap, and after that, it will be can they keep their tyres lasting good enough to keep the gap they have just built up? Or are each of them going to be battling to the point where, when their softs die off, they are going to have no advantage? It's either work together and battle later on, or battle now and keep the chances that the medium runners don't keep up. Well, as things sit, this is massive for Ajax because he leads the championship and his uh, next rival behind him, a lot of people have retired from this race, so any points he gets now will help him create a bigger gap.
But uh, all the field is caught up now, and uh, I believe the safety car should be in this lap. Division is said in the RPL, Jack, what is wrong with the TMX, which I think that is the wheel he uses? Yeah, he, I, 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 put, I have the same wheel where I can explain for it, it's like the, because I believe he had it earlier, where at certain random points, it doesn't matter whether it's online, offline, it just happens at random points. The, uh, My mic is back. It is the source of this point. Yeah, what's happening is just unfortunately that it suddenly goes into underneath a random point. So he has to pause his game, reconnect his wheel, then he can continue. Well, I can't really blame him because. I'm even on controller and whenever I lose force feedback I can't drive anymore and then on wheel it, it means even even more the force feedback so I can't blame them for being angry at this time because uh, Sometimes it just doesn't let you serve it for whatever reason. Ooh, Payox is so close behind JD. He's having to stand on the brakes to avoid going in the back door. Ooh, Axe washes it away. It might give Dylan a chance. I think the big thing they need to look out for is that the uh, softeners aren't making a gap from the mediums, so you can start to see the mediums towards the end come back and test it up to make moves. And SLR Dylan, who's had a, an amazing race so far in the Haas, is sitting in fourth on the mediums and uh, potentially could make a move on Axe. As his tires become more light and the soft start to fail off, to fall off. Just squeezes ahead of 
Sam, do you know what I mean? Also, can I just mention, this is the first ever league race I've ever seen that I haven't seen a corner for a penalty. The only penalty we've ever seen in this lobby is uh, Bradley Johnson's drive through. Little touch Ooh, to the I mean, Yeah. I'll get the back part again. You haven't had a penalty yet. Even if there is one after I've jinxed it, you still haven't had one. It's one to one laps. <laughs> Normally you see, for example, from Matthew's perspective, as you can see, the corner that they're coming up to now, you can see a lot of people getting corner cuts there. I mean, look at us, Hammy's there. You can get a lot of them. Magsies. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Brizzy tapped the wall as well. And again, uh, so oh, what is happening, Brizzy? He's just. He's I just think the setup is. Mojo. The setup, maybe it's the Alfa Romeo. He's just not used to because his car has not been balanced all race. Yeah, this is why I don't do RPL. I don't mind getting used to all the different feels for the different cars, but then it just. It takes up so much time to get used to each one. Oh, and just... I actually squeezing Zappa. But Zappa shoots all get past. As Kings. Oh, JG's in the pits. JG's in the pits. JG must have damage. JG must have damage. Yes, he does. He has no front wing. None at all. By the way, Monkey already has almost a three second gap between Axe now, recently Zamba. Axe does never out of Zamba just in the second era zone. Well, that's, that's actually the first era zone to turn three. Just keeps it down. Let's have a look at who will be contender for the in game drive today. Should. Yeah, it should be. Uh, actually, it could be two, three people. Not the same time, obviously. Could it be Dylan, Maxi, or Halo? Depends how the game chooses it. I think it should be Dylan. Uh, to do this one on the Haas is very impressive. Yeah, definitely. I'd have to agree with that. And, uh, he might even be able to make a move on that one. As these mediums are really starting to work for him, you see Zampa struggle on the softs. Yeah, he should be able to claw up, claw closer and make some moves. Looks and looks. As that's happening, closer gap we have is Brazy, Maxim, and Hammy. Mm -hmm. Battle for E6, and ha Maxim's dead. Oh no. Just like Stroll, he's just like Stroll, it's the same incident moment. Oh, oh I the car behind. I'm oh, sorry I cursed you. It's great. Oh, I my cursed goodness. him. I cursed him. Oh, how dare I. Oh, that's heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking. It would never be as heartbreaking as it is for the back seat. Oh. And we uh, are racing. Uh, <laughs> also, Monkey gets a horrible result of the VSC. And Axe is hit within a second. Instead of it being three, there's now just one second. Sorry, Maxine, we have to move on. Dylan could make the biggest moves here. Obviously the top three had no choice but to go onto the softs. But Dylan could be making a gracious move here. He should get the driver of the day in my book. So they'll do it in a half. Incredible. Axe is paused. I wonder if Axe is first master what wheel. I wonder if he has a first master wheel and his Porsche back just went. No he's up and don't have a run. Ma Monkey's just far ahead. I think Monkey might keep this win unless he gets a penalty. Yeah. But let's keep an eye on Dylan from Dylan's perspective and see 
a speed difference. I'm just going to get this one time. The speed difference between the two. The, the mark is. This is this is heartbreaking for Dylan, who is probably desperate for this podium. Is that he can uh, make up all the time the corner as he wants, but he just will not have the speed and the strength that he needs. Yeah, he will have absolutely none of it. Well, we will likely see a move for P6 between Brazy and Hammy, as that is the closest gap we have right now, three tenths. However, Brazy just does not have the power to be able to get close enough to him. Dylan's right behind Zebra, and Zebra, I think, might have fallen out of DRS range from Axe. He so has. this might be the chance. Just got back in though, because Axe made a slight mistake on the exit. Look at that, Dylan just does not have the straight line speed with the Haas to be able to get close to Zambra. You can just see him on the straights. You see on this after these next few corners. You just see Zamba start tailing away. Obviously he will get away because he's ahead, but you can see the gap, especially on the left, to start increasing. We have three tenths less than two. see on the straight here especially but I think Dylan will be able to make a move on him at the same time this is Echo Hutton well. crazy really close that as well almost a set almost in fact the same as the gap from Dylan to Zampa yep Zampa should still have the DRS so yeah and just out of those two turns like he makes so much time on Dylan the, the engine power is ridiculous the, the but, difference yeah but the uh, Brit Brazy's not close, close enough. Just two tenths to on DRS. And Brazy's gained about three. That is just. really shows you how much of a speed difference there is between the Haas and the Mercedes. The slowest car in a straight line and the almost the quickest. Oof, really close. Just giving Sam for a little kiss with his nose. If uh, Zampa falls out the DRS and stays with the DRS, then Dylan could get past them. Oh, he's looking around and he's setting up and he's setting him up. He just can't make it through there. It's too tight of an exit to where both lines really will not have much of a difference between them. I think next lap will be where the where is it, where Dylan and possibly Pope Kings can start making moves. Don't forget, Pope Kings is just shy than a second behind Kings. As I was talking about that, Zampa does make a mistake in the car section. He does lose his rear a little bit and is now oh. two seconds behind Axe. And Dylan should get the move on now. Yeah, on this next straight. This is really he is. Nice me as well. You two just wait. Yeah. Oh, he's hit his wing again. Oh no. There's no point on hitting. He's not lost his line goal, but he definitely hit it. He definitely and has. And Pairs is right behind Dylan as well. Yes. Pairs is caught up in the world. There is... All the ERS levels are about the same. Zampa is just going to get swarmed. Look at this. This is horrific news for Zampa. Oh, I dropped it. Pairs can squeeze his Dylan wide. That is... Oh, don't swear. That is quite shameful to be honest to squeeze it out there. He does it again. Squeeze him again. Please. We know you've come back from far, but that is. Halo does lose his oh. position to Natalie at the same time. And he loses his oh, position to see. Crazy. They're making it back. Light is flashing the final lap. Yeah. I wish you could give Dylan the run he needs. Zampa's tyres are shocked. Yeah. For him, the self I don't know where to go, but for Axe and Monkey, they've worked enough. Here you go, Payox Kings has gone from last to. Let me do it. We have a yellow flag. It is Zampa! Oh, Zampa's gone! No! no. Wait a minute. Crazy's P5. Crazy's P5. What is going on? Crazy's P5. 
crazy after hitting the wall multiple times, done three stops, he has P5. <laughs> okay, well that's happening now. Monkey has come to win the RPO Azbazan Grand Prix by a storming lead as well. He has controlled this race from start to the end and then has axed P2, start of P4. Pelx Kings, the comeback driver, and Dylan has to be the driver of the day here. What an incredible drive from there. Crazy, crazy. The spins, even though he does it there. Does it one last time. Does one last time. Doesn't slow him down. Oh. Zampa. Oh, so bad for him, but not everyone has their best days. Bradley Johnson. Still getting P8, though, after them. What a crazy, crazy race. Yep. That Very is... disappointing for that to happen, for example, on, last, on the last lap. Yeah. Halo gets driver of the day. I'm sorry, Halo, but I have to give it to Dylan. That is... I think we're going to have to invite both of the hardest drivers to the party anyway, just to congratulate both of them on their brilliant drives. Yes. Could you do that for me, please? Yep. Thanking you. And there you go, Monkey. Getting a win. <laughs> just a commanding ass drive. Kept it in the lead after we took Zamba in the early stints. Just kept it there the whole race. Didn't give it up once. How the f didn't get a penalty for corner cutting? <laughs> yeah, they didn't, which. Yeah. I'm gonna get up the, the race report. It's still uh, impressive. Yeah. I'm looking at race director for incidents. We have. Sorry, I'm unsure if anyone probably got two warnings. And, uh, oh, goodness. Everyone, as you come in, uh, tick the box. Yes, yes, please. please. So, Monkey did did get the fastest lap, so this is almost a grand slam for Monkey if only he started one position higher on the grid. And uh, Dylan, as you come in, tick the box as well. Yes, sir. Alright. I'm gonna get out of the lobby once the time runs and get the cars up, so we'll just wait until then to start the interviews. If it will load, that is. the showroom and it should be ready all right we will start with our race winner today monkey you commanded that race as soon as you overtook Zamba in the early stint and you just kept it there <laughs> that must have felt like a godsend when that first safety car came and let you get your free stop to keep that lead. But it must have been a little bit heartbreaking to lose that 17 and a half seconds. Yeah, it was, like Baku is one of my favorite tracks. So I know that if I don't make any mistakes, then I can go for good points, at, at least good points. Um, I wanted to stretch the mediums as long as I can to do a one stop and then everyone pitted and then the safety car came out and I was a bit worried that the softs, it was a bit too early, that they wouldn't make it till the end. But, uh, with the uh, managing and the first world safety car, it uh, went pretty good, so uh, yeah. Great, well done on the win by the way, and the fast lap, and I believe it is actually got P2, am I right? Well, bloody man, <laughs> quite a quite a battle throughout the last bit. <laughs> that was incredible, you for us. Uh, thank you very much for assisting in that. How was the race from your perspective? Pretty casual, pretty chaotic. Uh, well, you could split it in two halves. Before the safety car was quite boring. I had division for company for most of that, so that was nice to at least have a car in the in like viewing distance because Zampa and uh, Monkey were too far ahead because the Alphatari and 
uh, low, on high fuel is just a boat, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, I just kind of just made sure I kept the car in one piece, and then that safety car came out a little untimely, because I would have preferred to go maybe two to three more laps before pitting for the yeah. soft, but uh, it worked out well, because uh, Zampo just seemed to have no pace there, I was able to get by him with the straight line speed that I somehow had. And, um, yeah, after that, it was try and build the gap because I knew the saucer were going to die out and those mediums of, like, Payox and Dylan and all them, they were going to come at, at us in the final couple laps, which they got Zampa, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, I was able to hold on, so it was, it was fun. Yeah, very well done for E2, my friend. And we will move on to Payox Kings. <laughs> Is he here? Yeah. There. Yeah. Spinning on the second or first lap, that must have felt. You must have felt like you wanted to give up at that point, but you didn't, and you got P3 in the end. That must have. That safety car must have felt like a absolute godsend. <laughs> Go on, tell us how your race went. No, I was already missed at that point. It was alright. That's a race to forget. And now, um, I had wing damage most of the race, even that last stint. I, I was not expecting to catch up to Zamper and. Um, because I had bad understeer the whole last stint, and I, I think they must have got wing damage or something as well because their pace dropped off. But fucking hell, yeah, it was to do with brake bias. I was using uh, too much rear grip, so I had to go up to 57 after I spun, and then back down to 56 after I got wing damage because then I stopped understeer. It was just a weird race. Yeah. Very, I know it may not be happy for you because you didn't win, but I will congratulate you for finishing <laughs> P3 after being last. And we move on. Have we got both of them here? We indeed do. No, we have one of them here. I think Dylan. Dylan. <laughs> Was it P5, P6 in the end? In the Haas? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was oh, P4. Oh, oh, oh my! Yep. It just shows you how how odd it was. Um, well, that's <laughs> super frustrating when you do good middle sectors and first sectors, and then the last sector, all of your progress just goes. <laughs> yeah, we were mentioning that. That pass yeah. must have felt like an absolute <sighs> truck on the straight, but you it was. still managed to get P4. In yeah, so it's yeah, it's, it's a good, it's a good fucking. Oh, sorry, you can't swear on stream. It's a good. That's good... right. Is that right? Yeah, oh, cool. Nice, nice, Keep nice, it nice. Low, no, it's a great, great achievement. I think <laughs> in a half before that's great. Yeah, I will congratulate you for keeping <laughs> that boat <laughs> up to the top four, and also giving us some great views of your battles with the others. And I will say from the bottom of my heart, I am very sorry for Zampa to be high up for that whole race, podium position the whole time, and pole position as well. And spinning on the last lap, oof, that must feel painful, but I believe that is it. Arrow, you can finish us, you can finish the stream off, my friend. Uh, well, I've not much got more to add, but that was a terrific race from Dylan the Haas, and then amazing from Payox, uh, or uh, later the championship, how he's made able to finesse his way to, into the third he just appeared out of nowhere like twice <laughs> i have no idea how he done it but finishing third and then uh ax up in the second and then lastly with uh monkey getting the win him back out but uh that's all for me and ultra thanks for watching everyone take care bye, -bye.